My people wonder shall never end oh, when I hear this news. I am not too surprised, but I am surprised because hmm, Ashley said to Toby allegedly that time will tell that they will have to tell the world what they have did to Oni of Ife. Hey, guys, you know that Ashley is a calabash carrier. You know, and she is very deep into this uh, juju stuff, all this uh, local kayamata them. And, uh, you know, she is very rooted in it. So when she sees some unusual movement or unusual things happening, I believe she understands it very, very well. And coupled with the fact that a lot of things have changed, especially uh didn't change not in her favor if you remember when kabiesi and the queen naomi and uh, ashley was in the palace just the two of them you find out that ashley have a greater opportunity with kabiesi then sometimes if, when they go out with queen naomi ashley will be acting as if she is the wife why kabiesi why queen naomi is, the, is a maid you know i don't know if you remember those days Ashley have been very close to Kabiesi. Uh, some said they are, as in she is betrothed to Kabiesi and all of that. But a lot of people keep asking, if she is betrothed to him, why didn't he marry her? Because Kabiesi have married so many before he later uh, pitied her and married her when he was giving uh, marriage, uh, doing marriage bonanza. Because I'm, I believe that Kabiesi married Ashley now out of pity, not out of love. But uh, Ashley is making it look like she loves Kabiesi so dearly and Kabiesi loves him so dearly. I don't think Kabiesi loves him so dearly. I believe that this thing that he's saying now, that time will tell when uh, Toby and the rest will tell the world what they did to Kabiesi, that maybe Kabiesi was acting to love him, love her back while Benami was in the picture because of the manipulation of those juju stuff. I'm just saying my mind, I don't know. So, the, after Benami left, it was Ashley and Kabiesi. I'm sure you guys will remember all of this. Kabiesi did not care about Kwenami, whether Kwenami was in the picture or not. Whereas Kabiesi was the one who saw Kwenami and loved Kwenami and decided to marry Kwenami. And while Kwenami was in the palace, Kabiesi was behaving well. All of a sudden, everything changed. When Kwenami left, it was Kabiesi Ashley. Kabiesi Ashley. Most times, Ashley would just come down. Anytime that Ashley comes down from UK, she is all over Kabiesi. Kabiesi is all over her. But my people, Kayamata Day will Kayamata Day. Kayama that day, as in Juju get power, Juju can't get power again. Uh, as time goes on, it looks as if uh, it's no longer working with uh, Kabiesi and Ashley. It became for a Ashley and Toby. I don't know if you guys remember those period because I was following it. You know, their relationship, Toby and Kabiesi's relationship, can become another thing before this uh, pregnancy thing, pregnancy, because then they said Toby can never cry without Kabiesi doing something to make sure that that cry did not go on, you know? So, <clears throat> now, we don't know who is who right now. We don't know who's Juju Big Pass now, because things are no longer in favor of Ashley. And Ashley is trying to blame everybody. Ashley is blaming Queen Naomi. Ashley is blaming Toby. Ashley is blaming everyone. As a matter of fact, Ashley now wants to go and reunite with Queen Naomi. Reason? Because she thought that Queen Naomi will give her that opportunity so that she will reunite with Queen Naomi to get closer to KBSC again. Maybe by the time she will get to closer to KBSC again, she will use her jazz in such a way that KBSC will never get out of it again. You see this visitation of this Eyanifa into the palace. The thing has turned around a whole lot of things. If you remember the first time that Eyanifa visited, there was a lot of cleansing that he did for Kabiesi. Even to the point they say Kabiesi started vomiting things that these people have given to him to eat. 
you know, because when you give your man and he eats, hey, you can easily control him. But those such control does not last because they are not original, you know. So after those cleansing, it looks as if all of those manipulations and everything, no come get head again. You know, they work again. That was when Penami, uh, that was when Kabiesi now focused on Penami. If you remember, it's just all about Quenaomi, 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 Quenaomi. Until finally, he was able to bring back Quenaomi into the palace. It was after Quenaomi's return that they started talking about Toby's welcome back. Now, uh, they have welcomed Toby back to the palace. Ashley is not in a good mood at all. And I know that the major thing, the major reason why she is in, uh, like this is because KBSC no longer have her time. KBSC doesn't even know that she exists. It is getting to her too much more than all these other lorries. Because if you check, no acting with her. KBSC, it, I don't know, in the last six months, if not more than, I have not seen KBSC with Ashi in any event. I have not. At least all these other Oloris, they still have the opportunity to go on royal duties with KBAC. Even if they are not in good time, people will think that they are. But Ashley is like, she is not good in pretending, suffering and smiling. I don't think she is very good in that. And that is why she wants the relationship to be, to be the way it used to be. But it's unfortunate that it can never be like that again because Konami is now back into the picture. And KBAC already know that Ashley played a very bad role in ensuring that that marriage with Konami was destroyed. So I believe that that is KBAC's major uh, anger on Ashley. So when this uh, event happened and she did not come, uh, they said Toby started fighting her, mocking her, saying all sorts of things, saying that she is jealous of her. And she told jo Toby that she can never be jealous of you. One is that you don't even have KBSC. Because if you have KBSC, now that is the only thing to be jealous of. Is it a child? I have my own daughter who is even bigger than your own. So why would I be jealous of you? And the same palace you thought you were going to stay, they have thrown you out of the palace. So why would I be jealous of you with everything that you have done? Because you have done a whole lot. But time will tell. You are going to open your mouth in due time and tell the world what you have done to KBSC because you have done something. But time will tell. They said the moment Ashley said that, that Toby became afraid. Whenever she wants to talk about the kids, her uh, story will change. But they say Ashley have carried her blood and angrily she have returned back to UK. But let's say let's see if she will stay long there because these days she is coming and going, coming and going, thinking that she will use the opportunity to fix her relationship with KBAC, who have fallen apart, as in it has fallen flat. <laughs> anyway, I, don't, I just wish that they did not reconnect mm -hmm. because them reconnecting might affect Quinomi's relationship with KBAC because their own is not natural reconnecting. They will use jazz, making KBAC to forget about when Naomi. Anyway, guys, don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. They are all amable, okay? Bye. I love you guys. See you.